Once we have a Figma file or project created, what we're probably gonna to wanna to do is share it with people, gather feedback, and also view it on device. So the next thing we're gonna look at is we're gonna look at what's called Figma Mirror. Now this is a, an app, a mobile app, and let me show you what I'm talking about here. Figma Mirror is an app you can download from the Apple App Store or from Google Play. It's available on iOS as well as Android. And it's a way for you to be able to view your projects or your files, I should say, uh, on your device. Now, all you need to do is you need to have an account with Figma, obviously, and you need to have the app installed on your device. And then you sign in. You can see on the right over there, I'm about to sign in. This is my iOS device right now. If you don't have an account, you can create an account. You can also sign in with Google. But I'm going to go in here and sign in. So I'll be back in just a second. All right. So I just signed in. And it's telling me right now that I need to select a frame or component that's directly on the canvas. Now, the way this app works is it actually works with having your device on a wireless network or connected to the Internet so that it can access the files and projects and things that you're working on. So if you have Figma open in a browser and you have this installed on your device and you've signed in, let me make it so I can see both here. It's going to be a little tight. That's OK. I got another window open back there. And what you can do is you can open up your travel app if you want to do that. I'll double click to open it up. Now this is in Figma in the browser. And what we want to do is we want to actually click on a frame. Let's click on home, for instance, like the name of the frame up here. And on device, you're going to see it's going to say preview is loading. Now, what it does, this is kind of interesting. It's actually doing a 100% preview. Now, it's not fitting to the device size. It's actually just, like I said, showing it at 100%. So if your frames, for instance, are smaller, like their iPhone 8, and you're viewing it on the 10 or something like that, it might look a little different in size because it's not scaling it. So we can go and click on each one of these frames to take a look and see what it looks like. Now, if you start clicking on objects, you're not going to be able to see it over there unless it's actually a frame or component that's directly on the canvas. Now, currently with Figma Mirror, you'll see that if I go out to the device, I'm looking at it right now, and I tap on it, it's going to say, OK, we're connected through Wi-Fi. If I tap again, it's going to show the screen. We are not actually testing any prototyping on here yet. So this is something that we're just using it to view, to see what it looks like, and kind of work from there. Now, if you don't have this available, if you don't have, you know, the app, you can't get to it, or you have a different version of Android, because I believe it requires Android 7 Plus, you can actually go to figma.com slash mirror. So you can actually type in figma.com slash mirror on your device, in the browser on your device, and it will show you whatever you've clicked on as far as a frame in your file. So this is one way to get around the fact that you might not have access to the uh, Figma Mirror app on your device. So this is just a fast, quick, easy way to be able to see what your frames look like. In other words, what your files and projects are looking like directly on device using Figma Mirror.